What is up, guys? It's me, Levi the Foodie, and today we are reading another book called Ned Circus of Marvels. I didn't read five chapters because we, I, I finished it all and I didn't record it. So now, so one chapter six, Whiskers. Ned's head was spinning when at last they stopped by one of the circus largest, larger vehicles. Besmo punched numbers into a keypad and its door slide open. I'm going to have my head of R&D and research and de development. Cast an eye up over your box. If my nose is right, you need to make a choice. Now, Pop, the tinker is a mutant. Mutants can make most anything from anything, but they're senses, but they're sensitive about their size. Do not, by all that is holy, say that one glob in his presence. There are gadgets in there that could blow up half of Europe if you make them angry. From the expression of Bessemer's face, it was quite, it was quite clear that he was not joking. Inside the lorry, machines wired and spun. Bottles bottle, bubble with strange liquids and every available surface bubble. Can you please stop? Was covered in notes, di diagrams, and medical contractions. It made Ned, it made Ned's eyes water. His dad would have loved it. Every gadget, every blueprint, every complex combination. This was the kind of place that Terry Wellsworth would have lost himself in for weeks. And when Ned was younger, he would have sat there with him, copying every move with a little screwdriver. A part of Ned that he has forgotten was still there so long for his old hobby and his dad in the way face he had spit before wow he breathed look at all this skill you really could make anything in here ned ran his hand along the nearest machine a a hydraulic press marveling as its unique design ned noticed that the ring master seemed to be i can curse it. Ahem, no touching the equipment, thank you, said voice. At the room center was a table where a man no more than four feet tall was working. On his head was various goggles, glasses, and light fitting. In nearly every pocket of his white lab coat with stuff with tools. He had a smattering, he has a spattering of gray bristles that led to the beginnings of a patchy bread beard. Though Ned had never seen a real one before, he looked exactly the way he was a glob. She looked like small and rare Henry. Rapper Henry. Tika, this is the boy. The boy wore off Bessel's hugs and much the same way as the plumber might have come from a plumber while it's inspecting a long drain. Ah, so you're middle, Mr. What, Widow Watts. The diminutive the inventor said, peering up at him for a particularly large lens, but Ned hadn't heard a word. Like on the workbench, in one of his most more stationary Postage, postitions was an unexpected sight. His pen mouth whiskers. You found him, Whis You found him, whiskers. I've been worried sick. Finally, something that made sense. Something he recognized. The wise ones beloved pen mouths was safe and has found them. But the tinkers did not let him enjoy the moment for long. Whiskers. Oh no, Mr. Wells, Widow Watts. This is no whiskers. This is a Tinker, a Debussy Mark 12, to be exact. 
top of the line and it's time. Or at least was it till yesterday. This person mug what? That's my mouse. I know him anywhere. How is your mouse with a worse worth with a what? Not sure, but he's definitely older than me. And how much mice do you know that live to be that age? Sir? Um, well, Dad always said he was such a, indeed he is. This little fellow arrived at the green just a short while after you. Well, I've got them quicker too. If an ice cream truck has had it run him over, the tinker took a needle, fed screwdriver, and twisted it to the mouse back. He then carefully peeled away some fur, revealing an ornate maze of coral swings, tiny cobs, and tiny metal pistons. The rotten eyes flicker white for a split second, which was followed by wiring gears as it moved its head from left to right before slip before slumping back down again. Ned watched sun silence. Oh, Whiskers, not you two. The tinker fetched him a small stone and he slammed on, down onto it. How long till how long till its operation op, operation? asked Bismo. Well boss, it's not quite as bad as it looks. I pinched the parts of the punch and Johnny, so I and I should have him up and ready by the morning. I'm Rachel? said Ned. What is he? I mean, what is it for? Tinkers, tinkers come in as much many forms as you can match. They make great pets for the rich and tireless workers. They make tired tail fire soldiers too. To that was outlaw. The greatest use these days is your auto cover work. This model in particular was very popular for several lenses. It's like the tinker. Ned couldn't believe his ears. His pet mouse, a full third of this dire functional family, was made of metal. Magical creature, clockwork, and soldiers, and undercover mice? Why, uh, why hasn't anyone heard of this? Of these things, asked then. I thought the tingle looked rather surprised. Well, because of us, sir, we mention, we mention it all, you see? Every creature in every sighting, anyone outside of our line who sees anything is immediately visited by our pinstripes. Like the two men outside, the one with the flutes. Please say so. Only the not really flutes. He pressed a button on a old fashioned typewriter of sorts and a painter on one of the wall, wall slide away, revealing a large brass muncher. He had little boxes of tests, scheduled windows, and streaming rows of data. Just like a regular, regular computer screen, it's meant that everything was made of moving metal parts. Uncombingo Uncom gives up to date information on every sighting and everyone who's done the scene. The monarch collided noisily on a map of Europe, covered in tiny bulbs, slide into view. The fair folk as we call them creatures, human or other size, otherwise, with any kind of magical ability or curse live beyond the veil, and they do so for their own protection to they give to give to give them safe from your witch hunts. Scientists and Zeus, the tinker paused into Ned Ru nodded his understanding. Most of them like Rocky and I and our reds and pistols use glamours to say hidden when outside its borders, while few 
can change their appearance at will. There are also those who are completely human and are well not. We have to keep tabs on all of them to stop the fear and the, and the creature and hide from being discovered. You've been surprised by how many live on your side with ordinary lips and jobs. Our little audience last night were, were all for their folk. Suckers are a good place for them to catch up on our lives. Latest gossip, Ned Peel and Bessel. He looked ex. He looked and circled, like all the twelve members, but he also looked human. If the tinker was right, then there was far more to the man than a steely eye and a tongue and a tough swagger. But what? This map is for the other kind. Continued the tinker. The, camp, the kind that is strictly forbidden to cross the field's boundaries. The ones your kind need protecting from. The darklings outside are just a taste. Yellow, yellows are level 5 and under. Orange is 6 to 15. And red 16 to 35. <gasps> White, well, white are their own thing all, all together. The puppy tears, if you will, that pull on the darling strings. There were literally hundreds of dogs on the map. Only six of them were white. Damn it, Ned, cut the meso. Thankfully, extremely well, with a hope bound of vision to light. They mostly do well underground. Save you with it. Whoa, stop! 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 Within Bell Run Reservations, the last one to go on check was Jacko, a participant about creature with a spot, soft spot for human blood. He and his doglings nearly swept the whole of Eastern Europe, bringing the darkness with them. But we brought them back eventually. Ned go. This was a history le lesson unlike any other. They haven't tried anything on that scale and since, and the borders have reminded men to made a goal. You see, isn't it easy for a demon to cross? It takes an act of true evil coupled with pitch ma black magic. Or well, at least it did. Something to stir them up. How any of this fit in with the safety obsessed screw salesman was completely beyond that. I'm sorry, my brain feels like it's melting. The world was normal when I woke up yesterday, sort of. Whatever the this real thing is, this secret world is of yours. What's it got to do with my dad in this box? The wing master led in closely. Maybe nothing, but most probably everything. No one knows why, but the veil is falling, tumbling down around our very ears. And there are those that want to see it that way. If it does, the horner, the horner that's dead men, kind will walk freely. And when they do, we will have ourselves a war that can be won. It will mean the end for all of us or on both sides of the view. That's wall. We have one small chance of saving it. Since the beginning, there always have been two people, each generation or so, who has discovered in themselves the rarest and most pontifical of all gifts. Gifts that they have used for the most part of for good. Because of the natural, of their magical abilities, they're known as the magic and the en engineer. There's a probability among the likes of Kitty and her kind that in the fears greatest of how of need they will combine, combine their powers to save it. 
If this is in theater than I was, then there are only that stands between us and unbridled evil. Ned shook his head in frustration. But I still have no don't know how my dad into all this. We've been searching for a girl, Ned. Her name is Lucy Beetleman, and she's the last medic. Her parents were taken from her in a cloud of unspeakable violence, and many think her dead. The engineer, and the one who, who we believe on, knew of her whereabouts is your father. Okay, that is it for Chapter 6, Ned Sookers and Marvels. I hope I can see you tomorrow, Chapter 7. Bye!